Hi, this is Shamancha and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make Element Plus UI. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to put Element Plus UI in a view app. So I'm going to, I'm going to make an image carousel with Element Plus UI and a Vue.js app. Element Plus UI is this amazing library of UX and UI. And in here, you, it's very, it's uh, specifically designed for Vue.js. From my personal experience, I had to make a date range picker, and I was using a date range picker library that had jQuery in it. And Vue.js does not work well with jQuery. And I was really worried because I was supposed to put a date picker library. So, but Element Plus, it saved my life. And I found this and I was so happy to see that this UX, uh, this UI library being created just for Vue.js. I think it is just for Vue.js. I think you can use it. No, it is, it is specifically designed for Vue.js. You probably I don't know if anyone using React has ever used Element Plus. I have to research on that. But uh, for Vue.js, okay, this works wonderfully well. And I'm going to make this library, uh, this image carousel, this lovely image carousel. I'm going to put this in my Vue.js app. So at first, I would have to, let me go to the guide. Okay, I would probably, I have to install it, to install it in my and this is this is a an app this is a view app that has nothing in it okay it has no codes in it and if we go here we'll see that it has it displays nothing the view app called element and it has a it, it displays nothing right now and in here we're gonna put the element plus carousel i have um put a few flower images in my assets folders. So these are the images that we're going to use for our image carousel. And um, so let me import. Oh, at first, I definitely, at first, I have to install Element Plus. Let me install this. At first, I have to install Element Plus library. OK, and then. Then I have to, I'm going to add this in my index.html file in my public folder in the head section. And then I have to tweak some changes in my main uh, JS library. I have to make some changes in my main.js library. I should make a global configuration. I don't want to import like element plus in every component like this. I want to make it global. This is the reason why I'm going to tweak and make some changes in my main.js library. I'm going to import this. Well, here it says main.js for TypeScript, but um, main.js, let's say main.js for my project and yeah, use element plus. Okay, let me go to my package.json and element plus had been have been installed. Now I'm ready to make that carousel. So at first, I hope you know how to make a static image in Vue.js. Okay, how to make a static image. So let me import image one from let me see assets and I'm gonna put this in my data image one okay so you can call this whatever you want I could call it flower one but in the data section um, I'm putting this as data in here 
And then let me image source equals to image one. Image one. Huh, let, let me see what it looks like here. You can see the image in here. Okay, so for this project, I'm going to import all these images and I'm going to make uh, an array of images because I, I, I want to have six images for my Vue.js carousel. This carousel, um, there are six images in here. So I'm going to import six images. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Image two is uh, image two dot JPEG. Image three is flower three dot JPEG. Flower three. Okay, and image four is flower four dot JPEG and image five flower five dot JPEG image six Okay, so let me make um, an array called flower picks. Image two, image three, image four, and image five, image six. Now, hmm, now let me let me just for fun, let me display all the static images in here, okay? So I could do this dot flower picks. For the first image is zero, okay? For the first image is zero. Uh, this is the first image. What about, uh, what about the last image? What does it look like? Last image, this dot, flower picks dot length minus one. Is this the last image? Dot length. Huh, the last image should be displayed. I just remembered. It should be minus one. There you go. This is the last image. And this image is called image six and flower six. Nice. So as you can see, we can make an array of objects in here, and we can put all those objects over here. And if you want to see everything, you can make a V4. This is, I, I'm showing you how this works so that you have a deeper understanding of the codes in here. They're using V4 in here too. So the, I'm showing you how to make and um, how to make a for loop in Vue.js so that this this is easier then then you understand how the element plus is working in here so item in what flower picks okay there has to be a key otherwise it will give an error and in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to display the item okay so let me see what it looks like. All right, all the images were displayed. They're different sizes. They're different size images. But now you understand how a for loop works in um, in Vue.js. Okay, so now is the time. It's the golden time. We're going to insert our element plus UI codes carousel in our... Let me get rid of all this, okay? 
in our view app, okay? And in, in here, instead of six, we put, okay, let me uh, copy paste the, copy paste the styling, because everything is probably in the styling, okay? Now, um, instead of six, six is an array in here. We don't have any array called six. We have flower picks. So let's put flower picks in here. And this, let me see what it looks like now. Yeah, because this is not the way of showing an image. It's just showing the address of the image or something like that. Okay, this is in the image. Okay, we need to use image source in here, okay? One second. Like I showed you before, image source equals to item. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. All right, so um, as you can see, this is what we made right now. And the width and the height is uh, not proportional, so it doesn't look very good. Let's see what it says in the attribute section, okay? So in the attribute, it looks like the height of the carousel can be used. Initial and index of the initially active slide starting from zero, trigger, Okay, so let's use the height. Let's set up a height and a width. This is 200 pixels. Let's put 700. And width, let's make it 400 pixels. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Hmm. So the image size, let's change it. I want it to look like this, you know, and I want it to fill up. So the image size can be changed in here, okay? Style, width, 100%, height, 100%. All right, nice. And what other fun can we have we even have this arrow in here. This was very easy, right? You can make really cool websites using Element Plus and Vue.js, and it doesn't take too long. It's it's like super easy. So uh, what about uh, the other attributes in the carousel? Let me see. Let's let's play around with some of these attributes. Arrows are shown. Okay. Let's pro let's um do this, autoplay. Okay, let's see what happens if we use the autoplay attribute in here, autoplay, okay, and set it to true. See, these are string. Remember in here, um, oh, this is, this is a Boolean. Let me see if autoplay works. I don't know if it's working. Um, it's not autoplaying. I think, if this is a boolean. This is not supposed to be a string. Okay, let's see what happens now. Uh, I still have to click on it. Autoplay attribute. This is interesting. One second. Um, autoplay attribute. I think one of them has to use. This probably uses autoplay attribute. Arrow attribute determines, where is the autoplay in here? Auto play. There's only, I don't have anything that showed autoplay. Let me see. Let me check out their other attributes. Uh, I'm really curious about the autoplay attribute. 
because then it it plays it by itself, you know, and then I'm not without even touching. That would be really cool, right? Hmm. What about the indicator position? Okay, let me put, oh, is it happening by itself? Let me put auto play true over here. Okay, let me put auto play equals to true. It was a true over here. Let's see if it works in here. Now I, I sort of need to hover over it to make it work. Uh, what about a loop? Okay, let me take the string away. These are, I don't know. I don't think this will work, but. Okay, autoplay attribute in element plus. Autoplay attribute in element plus. Let me see. Where is the autoplay? Oh, like that. Oh, it's a Boolean. So I don't, I don't put anything like this. Yes. It should be like this. I've never used this attribute before. That's why I was so curious. Let me see. Auto autoplay is like when it starts, it starts by itself or... Hmm. Let me see. Oh, it starts a video by itself in this in this situation. So it's supposed to start the carousel by itself. So let me remove this interval. Let's see what happens. Okay, it sort of does it when I hover it. And if you know how to put, how to use the autoplay attribute, because it would be really cool if it's moving on its own, let me know. Because uh, right now I'm looking up, I'm still learning all the attributes in here. What is this indicator position? I understand. Uh, and, uh, this this code, let me see what it looks like. Let me use some other attributes in here. What about the direction? Well, the direction is horizontal. The interval. Weather automatically loop the slides. I definitely want to, oh, it is happening. Oh, my autoplay is working. Wow, I, I didn't think it will work. Oh my God, which, which one worked? This one? Let me see. So it has to be in the inner loop? No, the outer loop. It is the outer loop. Plus I got rid of the interval in here. Okay, everyone, I really appreciate you watching this video. And as you can see, um, you know, Element Plus is super easy. And, and I love playing around with the attributes. And um, this is really fun for me. I hope you enjoy my video and please follow me and subscribe. I'm gonna make more Element Plus videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.